Are you ready? Webradio.com, your internet radio destination for the new millennium. Live anytime, on any day, from anywhere. It's webradio.com. Nothing can compare to what's happening across the network. So come listen to this station live at webradio.com with music, news, sports, whatever your taste is. It's there. there. Web Radio also has some cool giveaways all the time. Be sure to check it out. Webradio.com. Webradio.com. <laughs> KCLAFM.com Pocho Loco Show Here with a special edition Tonight As you know that I had posted on Facebook That we were going to do um, The Grammys We still might get to that But a late addition To our guest list Has stepped into the studio And is here Mel Novak, veteran actor Yeah, let's have a clap for Mel Yeah, yeah all right, Mal, look at you, looking pretty slick. Okay, but uh, before we get to that, since we're not going to probably get into the Grammys, which is fine, we can save that for another day, um, I do want to play this hilarious clip from um, Kanye West, who had a blow-up. Uh, you're an actor, you're musicians, they get into this. They just go crazy for one thing or another, and I really don't understand why Kanye... West uh, on the Saturday Night Live set, and uh, if you haven't heard this, I'm going to play it for you right now. He went nuts, absolutely bonkers. They were messing around with a set or something like that, but um, here it is. Look at that shit. They took my fucking stage off of SNL. Without acting. And I'm gone. That air table switch, fake ass. I ain't gonna do this. We're breaking the motherfucking internet. I'm in six years of this fucking shit. Let's get to it, bro. Who is this guy? Let's get to it, bro. Oh my God. Are they fucking crazy? Bro, by 50%, Stanley Kubrick. This guy, can you listen to this guy? What up? Hey, Madonna, you ask me. Elephant Frank Unzueta. So I'm sitting and clicking, and bang, gorgeous, hot, and sexy models like you've never seen. Yeah? I'm telling you, what a website. I start ordering right online, and then my engine was roaring, and my rocket was ready. Hey, hey, hope the wife don't find out. You kidding? She told me about it. Anyway, finally I can get my hands on what I've wanted my whole life. You mean... Yeah, supermodels. You're kidding. No, model trains, model planes, model rockets, ehobbies.com. Rocks. A new world for hobbyists, and free shipping with a $25 minimum purchase. That's ehobbies.com. 
My friend John and I think the road rules. We've got lots of ideas on where to go. Unfortunately, we're a little low on bucks. I'm thinking we're going nowhere fast. Then John found out about this Greyhound two-for-one companion fare. We can go just about any place, any time, and we only pay for one ticket. Two for the price of one. And there's no hassles, because we only have to buy our ticket three days before we go. So John, if you're listening, I got one thing to say. You the man. The Greyhound two-for-one companion fare. Call now for details. Special conditions apply. It started out like a totally normal day. I love you. I mean, I guess I was a little sweaty and I was definitely sore. I thought I had gas. Turns out I was having a heart attack. Heart disease is the number one killer of American women. So now I take care of myself and tell the other women in my life to do the same. Make it your mission to save your life and the lives of the women you love. Find out more from the American Heart Association at GoRedForWomen.org. For all of your auto repairs, including expert collision work, L.A. Radiator on Santa Monica Boulevard is the place to go. Located just a few steps east of Vine, L.A. Radiator offers the fastest service at the lowest cost available anywhere in the area. Whether it's just a tune-up or a major repair, you'll be putting your car in the best hands possible. Don't let the name L.A. Radiator fool you. They do a lot more than just radiators. Remember, the next time your car needs any repair, try L.A. Radiator at 6216 Santa Monica Boulevard. Located just a few steps east of Vine Street in Local show, KZLAFM.com. We're back on, gentlemen. Doggy has returned. Doggy, <laughs> the big dog. What are you doing the side of town? Oh man, man just looking for uh, women, man. What else can you do in Hollywood? Man, you got tired of the Lakers losing. That's why you're here, huh? Are they uh, playing tonight? I'm not looking at the Lakers to win anyway. We're looking. That's in the future. Man, They're yeah. playing tomorrow night. The Spurs man, are in I town. They're playing the Clippers tonight. And then uh, the Lakers will have Adam tomorrow. Are the Clippers going to beat? Uh, yeah, the Clippers will beat the Spurs tonight. And are they going to trade uh, Griffin? What's no, 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 no. Griffin is much too valuable. Too to valuable, trade. ah. But we want to hear that story. We want to hear exactly what happened. Are you we, 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 LA fans he, want closure he, on he that. He punched that guy out. He, he punched that guy out. Yeah. Now, have you met our guest? I just, I just met him. Uh, I know a little bit about him. Veteran actor, Mel Novak, right? And he also was a pitcher for Pittsburgh. Pip, what's that? Short, oh, man, you're too tall for a short short stop, stop. No. So so I played ball too. Um, What what years did you play for Pittsburgh uh, that you predate? uh, Well, you're about the Roberto Clemente era. I was going to ask if he played with uh, Roberto Clemente. Clemente. All right. I, you know, I, I, I couldn't help but play Franklin's Wet. I love that music. Love that music. Yeah, do you have it? Uh, yeah, just, you just pull up close. This is, uh, Mel, unlike, unlike film, a, a boom mic where you're on set, this is radio. You got to talk like right into it. No I had to learn that a few years. What's going on, brother? You gonna stand all the time? You can have a seat. Oh, I'm pull up Look, a chair pull, up, pull up a chair next to Mel. Look, Mel. Let me fix this. I don't know why. Richard, you're, you're always monkeying around, see, like this, and then it won't go down. This way, he's talking straight into it the whole time. There you go, Mel. I didn't touch it. I know the other monkeys. Look, look, the computer's out, and 
Hey man, so you're the monkey, by the way, and it's a black monkey. My brother be monkey, sixty. I'm, 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 I'm talking. And about I was a black sheep. You were a black sheep. Black sheep means I'm more powerful. The oh. Chinese believe every sixty years your year becomes black. I was a white sheep. I was a black ah. sheep. Denver won. I told you. Denver, put your money Mel, on does it, does I went to Hooters. Does this, does this, any of this make sense to you, Mel? No. <laughs> Leave it up for Mel. No, like that. Yeah, no. okay. All right. Go Mel, go ahead, Mel. Mel now, yeah. no, 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 no. no. It's like that. I, that's why I put it that way. Well, see, it folds over. No, it doesn't fold over. Like no, it folds over the other way. It's good. All right. Oh, my God. You see what I have to put up with here? <laughs> Oh, please. Everybody drinks coffee in here, and then, you know, they, never you know stop. It. It, yeah, it, it never works, What's man. Good? All that coffee. Anyway, yeah, uh, Mel, as I told you that we're just starting the um, show, but still we'll get down to the interview. But there are some things I wanted to, uh, you know, feed to you before we get sure. into the interview. Now, uh, folks, Mel is a veteran actor, and we'll get into all the people that he's ever acted with. But he, before he became an actor, he was a ball player for uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates. And I was just asking him a uh, picture because in there it said you had to quit baseball because of rot- rot- uh, rot- rot- rotator, rotator cuff. Me. Yeah. I was crippled five years. Five years. Holy cow. Ah, so so you, you, you stuck around the, the majors for another five years? Or no, no, no. I was. There you go. Once they they did the surgery, uh, I got an 18-inch scar. They took my arm apart and just yeah. I, w- I was dead in the water. I had 60 scholarships in major universities oh all over the cow. country, and I signed a pro baseball contract. And uh, that was a hard time for me because I went from a real-class athlete to a cripple. Yeah, I can imagine. And, and uh, what year was this? Was this in the 70s or? 60s? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Augie, or, or sh- now I thought because of the rotator cuff, I thought right away, I assumed that he was a pitcher. But no, he played shortstop. Now, Augie, shortstop and third. He, he's supposed to be uh, shortstop and third. You're supposed to be some kind of expert on baseball, are you? Um, but now, isn't he kind of tall for shortstop, Augie? He's six, the guy's 6'2". Uh, I think at that time, uh, I think he's, he is tall for a shortstop. Most shortstops, the great ones were like Maury Wills and Luis Aparicio during his era. We're about 5'10", 5'9", 5'10". But yes, but uh, Ernie Banks, I believe, which was a great shortstop during that era as well, was about 6'1", six foot, six foot but then he converted. Uh, uh, but Ernie Banks started as a shortstop, b- yeah. about his height as well. But I, I, th- I thought Ernie played out in the outfield. No. Uh, he no? became a first baseman. They converted him first baseman, but he was originally a shortstop. Oh, yeah, first, first baseman, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I ran 100 yards in 96, so I was fast. What 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 high school did you go to? In Pittsburgh. Oh, it was a, you were out Westinghouse in Westinghouse no. Memorial, yeah. Oh, really? So you're out of Pittsburgh. Yeah, I, I was born and raised there. Oh, yeah, a lot of good athletes out of Pittsburgh. Good uh Pittsburgh University. They got a good uh, football program. It's pretty decent. Yeah, I that was one of the scholarships. Oh, man. And yeah, I, I had now I had a, uh, a second cousin who got drafted by the Yankees out of San Jose State as a pitcher, and uh, in the minor league team that he played for, he tore his rotator cuff, and that was it for him. Had a nice contract, but I mean, I think he got a house out of it. I don't know. Yeah, and once once your arm goes, that's it. Now, um, I appreciate you coming in here. I know it's a very late notice, but. Uh, and uh, Freddie, I call him Freddie, K- Freddie, Freddie K. K. We know him as Freddie Abrahams, and I don't know if he's just taken. Uh, yeah, yeah. And now he's going by Cresserman. I, I, I met him as Freddie Abrahams. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and and I think that maybe that's his mother's no, that's maiden a name. name. Abraham. Abrahams is a middle name. I've never met Freddie anybody. Abraham. I never knew that. With the middle name of Abraham. <laughs> you know, and so. Freddie, Freddie A, Freddie K. What is this guy? He doesn't, he doesn't know his name. But anyway, thank you, Freddie, for bringing him in, right now, and because uh, you know we just had this lull in the in in the lineup, but I really appreciate you coming in. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll tell you, it's a pleasure to meet this guy. This guy was with Bruce Lee. Enter the, I mean, uh, yeah. return game of death. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Uh, Bruce Lee is one of my. Bruce okay. Lee is what inspired me. He was my mentor. Now, I started now, training. Now, Mel, this guy has some kind of... Look that, yeah. Uh, and Leo, 
Leo's our engineer. Leo, two things I'm going to put on the board. I hope you'll look it up. And that is the computer is, is shot. And this, this, this mic has a mind of its own. It, it, it's driving us batty in the uh, studio. We're trying, to get, right. uh, well, we're trying to get a level. The other way, you have to hold it the whole time. Right. But, that's but I don't No, He's on. level right now. No, he's level right now. Yeah, when, right on when you grab it, then it goes the other way. <laughs> See, we're going crazy. Uh, Leo, he's probably listening upstairs. Okay, so if we can do that, all right, before I take a hacksaw to the mic. So, uh, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so Richard, his, his, he and his brother have this barbecue sauce that they're promoting. And every time I get him to try to, Augie, I don't know if you've been listening lately, to get him, I say, look, Richard, you have so much time to do your barbecue sauce. He goes off and chasing rabbits. I said, well, what about your uh, barbecue sauce? Are you going to promote it or what? <laughs> and by the time he's ready to promote it, bup, commercial, sorry. Now, Richard, would you like to say something? Well, easy, easy with the mic. See, this, okay. This is the thing. Maybe no. Oh, Spin. And it's uncomfortable like this. It's better for me to speak like this. Well, but switch it back when you give it back to Mel, okay? okay? So it's better for me like this. But I, well, we can't. Well, okay, go ahead. Off. Okay, it's now, off up here. It's messing me there, up, man. There goes, his bar- there goes his barbecue. Now, I'm going to tell you something about the barbecue sauce. Hurry By up. the way, Augie was there. He got $1 million when, well, I don't know he where he got the money, not. but he was talking about he was buying a million roses over there across the street. Now, bounce out this. I told you, I told you I was going to cut you off. Talk, t- unless that guy pays you for the commercial for the roses. I'm not doing it. Then we, he's over there buying roses. Opportunity to explain myself. Okay, explain yourself, okay. sir. You got about five yeah, minutes. Yeah, he's going to get a million roses. That's my game. I'm getting a million roses. Get one to each woman. Marry all one million of them. But Otherwise, then, I'm never getting married yet. Now, here's what the barbecue sauce. What does that have to do with barbecue no, sauce? No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go ahead. I got a bottle for you. This is my brother's. I ain't giving you He's Colonel Sanders. That. He made it. He got an award. Now, he's going to be on that competition show with his catering truck on cable. And I'm going to get them on the show, and they go around competing, and they go around the country competing. Yeah. So I told my manager and my agent, I said, get them on that show. Now, listen here. This sauce <laughs> is a $20 bottle. Donations going to the Fred Jordan Mission. 16. Okay. okay, I'm not going to tell you nothing. This bottle right here. Don't lie now. We got a, min- we got a minister in there. Well, actually, we'll we'll yeah, actually, yeah, too. Wait a minute. A percentage goes to homeless yeah. family, women, and children. Yeah. Now, if you're my friend, I'll let you buy it for five bucks if you're a friend <laughs> of mine. Because we ain't at the W. What? But if we were at the W, it would have cost you 20 They told me it was free. No, it ain't free. For VIP. It isn't. Excuse me. I was, I was Look, VIP. Augie paid 40 for two. You want VIP. But I don't want mine with a cap. I want it sealed. <laughs> no, mine. no. I this is it. good shelf life. Who knows now where listen. That, who knows where that dirty this, bottle has this been? Goes, no, this goes on the <laughs> shelf. You put a cap on it. Listen, I got bottles coming. Now listen, my friends. Yes. Now, if you're a friend of mine, you can get this for five. That's on you. But you and I have the W tonight. We're in the radio show. But. But, but you got a deal. Quit spitting in but you're my friend. But if you're not my friend, excuse me. If you're not my friend, this bottle will go for twenty dollars donations to. The, I'm selling this online, man. A thousand bottles is twenty grand. Okay, now look, look, Richard, look. How much has sold? Look, look. Now, Mel, he, we had a contest. Mel, we had a contest with Richard on this video, right? And they were going to win to find him in the video. And Augie said, "Well, you know, we'll give him, we'll, we'll give him, we'll give him like, we'll, we'll give him like about three months, three or four months, and no, and call in if you spot Richard in Michael Jackson's video, and nobody could, nobody could find it. And so I had to, I had to convince this guy, look, man, it's over, it's over. Nobody, nobody found you, and nobody won. So now his next project, his next project, is his next project." Is the barbecue sauce, which is legit, which le- le- legit. Okay, go ahead. You're back on. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh. Two hundred million. So, if you call the show right now, listeners, and you figure out, go to YouTube, watch um, Michael Jackson Rock My World video, and you figure out where Michael spins and spins on me, and nobody, no actors, nobody participating in the show, nobody yeah. knowing me can participate. But if you call the show, I'll give you the winning this ticket. It's worth two hundred million dollars, and it's a Powerball ticket. I got it in my wallet right is it, now. Is this a new one? Yeah, 
And tonight's a drawing, 7 o'clock. So you better go get your ticket if you haven't gotten one. I just brought nah. mine. Mel doesn't need that. No. I mean, but I want Bruce it. Bruce Lee, Lee Steve Lee. McQueen, Christopher Lee. 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 He, 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 he. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's always he's always dressed like this. Oh, he's always okay. dressed sharp. He's sharp. He's six two. He's a. What he means? He's, you're a sharp dresser. He's, right. He's not, That's uh, what I dissing. meant. He's not, he's not dissing you in any No, way. I wasn't uh, ditching you, sir. I'm from Chicago. Not ditching. Huh? Dissing, not ditching. I don't know. You from dissing. LBC? Anyway, let me explain something. To you him. got you got so two he minutes. Understands. I have a lot of respect you got two for. Two minutes. Him. Okay. So the barbecue sauce. Now, if you go ahead. With, and, 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 you know, $5 is one thing. But let me explain something. If you figure out where I'm at on the video, you rock my world, I'll give it to you free. To you. To me. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to watch the video with the computer's down. How okay. am I going to see? You do it on your phone. You too. Mel, yeah, you know what? Sorry. One of these days, you're talking about being a minister in the prisons and county jails. Skid Row. Skid Row. Oh, well, in the jails. Okay. You're going to look, look, remember his face because you're going to be ministering to him <laughs> on, from the bunk, because the Bunko squad, the Bunko squad is going to get this. The black guy said to me, who are you going to be with, the Spanish or the blacks? And I said, man, black, man, I'm black, white, and Indian. I'm from Chicago. My mother's white. <laughs> there he goes. Black. He said, listen, he said, okay, man, I was pitch black. We were in the bathroom. Mexican dude was with lipstick. I mean, white stuff <laughs> all over his mouth looking like a monkey. Listen, and beating um, on his chest on my essay. Listen, the morning woke up, man. You know what? Okay. I looked up. Wait, you're going to hear this. I woke up, man. There was 190 Mexican guys, guys and Spanish guys. I said, oh, shit. There was 11 black guys and seven white guys. I said, fuck. I stayed under the blanket all night, all day. And then when we went to the cafeteria that night, they called me up and listen to this. They said, what? sir. Yeah. They said, let, yeah, let okay, you out. All right. That's right. it, Richard. End the story, man. Don't come back. Two weeks later, they had race riots. All right, all right, all right. You know, give the mic back to Mr. Allie. Uh Mr. Novak. Uh, uh, Mr. Novak, would you like uh, would you like some 409 or something to clean the mic? Because I think there might be barbecue sauce on there. <laughs> on there. <laughs> Woo, this poor guy. All right. No, it's uh, everything's recorded, my friend. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Here, Where were you at? Oh, okay. Now, no. no, 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 not really. Not now, right. Augie, Mel, Richard, we were supposed to have a street performer on the show. And I don't, do you know, right do you He's have, do you, <laughs> do you have any friends who are street performers, Mel, who ever worked their way into acting as a street performer? No. No? These guys, man, I'm telling you, these people are very strange. They, they are strange. I tried to recruit. Uh, a Batman. There's several Batmans uh, out there, and I, I uh, tried to rec recruit uh, uh, a Michael Jackson uh, imitator, and I gave him the car. They they confirmed. They said, "Oh yeah, we'll, we'll come in." They never did. Okay, but but I'm telling you, these people are very odd. Yeah. They're very secretive. They don't want you to know, or I don't know if they're on the FBI's most wanted <laughs> list or. Or whatever they don't want the parents. They don't want. They don't want to. Do, they don't want to know what their parents. They, they don't want their parents to know what they're doing. But I mean, they they are very and and their outfits are very dirty. In fact, I rode the yeah. red line up here with dirty Spider Man. Spy, <laughs> you know that that what 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 are what are Spider Man's colors, Augie? Uh, red, red, blue, red, yeah. blue, white, black, red, white, and blue, black, red, white, and blue, black. Well, this one, he was like a dirty red. <laughs> uh, dirty red. And uh, the guy s was out of shape. He, he smelled. And I, I you know, I, I, I don't know about these guys. You know, and, and, and I remember that, that our local news, uh, CBS, NBC, somebody tried, because they were having a lot of fights down there, um, were trying to get interviews on the street with these people. And they just, especially the women, they, they don't talk. They don't let you know. A lot of times, they may be on parole or something. <laughs> wow, maybe. So, and that's why, uh, like on Skid Row, they don't like you taking pictures because they're they're hiding out. Uh huh. Violated parole and stuff. Yeah. I was at the Fred Jordan Tuesday, and the Union Rest Commission last night. Uh huh. And uh, what? Twenty-five thousand people homeless. Now, now do you. 
give sermons or you I just do chapel services oh okay yeah. that's good yeah. yeah, I remember been down uh, there 30, it'll be 34 years Easter, 30 years in prison, 31 years. I've been in the worst penitentiaries in the country, Pelican Bay, 10 times. It's the worst mm. one in the country. Mm. Um, now, have you heard uh, anything from the city of LA, whether or not, uh, I heard they're going to put millions of dollars into dealing yeah, with the right. homeless. Uh, you haven't heard anything else you after know what that? what they did? The whole block on Fred Jordan, they have their tents. I know the people and have everything there they came and and took everything and trashed it and threw it away now that's yeah i saw that I saw that's that just news. that's just not right right hmm and uh you know I, you know we do have the largest homeless population in the yeah, united states in, in la yeah and uh, new york uh, chicago in long beach i don't know what we do with ours at night they all seem to disappear we had buses that shipped them out somewhere on one side of the city but uh, man, that, that that that's tough. Uh, you're over there uh, every weekend uh, out there. No, I usually, like last year, I did five movies, uh, two starring, three co-starring. But I did 241 services. Wow! So it was a busy year. Year before, I didn't do one movie. I did 268 services, and over 5,200 prayed a salvation prayer. Mm. So, and this this year here, I got five more films, starring roles. And uh, so it's been it's been great. Uh, yeah, you're but it, it's busy. It, it's very difficult. Like last night, I did the men's side, and you see guys who knew me from prisons. Now they're on Skid Row. Too, you know, too much drugs and temptations there. Then you got the women. You know, there there was a lady. The worse. She had four four sons. Two had 150 to life. One mm. had. A, and one had a hundred to life, the other one had two hundred, no, three hundred to life, and she's on Skid Row. Now, what moved you to get into ministry? It's a calling. Yeah, calling I, I went. They, I was invited to Union Rescue Mission as a celebrity. Mm-hmm. That's what got And you. that was on Easter, thirty-three years ago, be thirty-four, and the CEO was watching me, and I had like twenty-five street people there, and we were. I was in, I'm good at encouraging, edifying, uplifting, to never give up. You know, I should have died seven times. I never did drugs or alcohol, ever. That, that's, a, that's why I bring this up. Was there some kind of uh, uh, event in your life that, that moved you into this, or just uh, going no, a lot, out A lot of visiting? events. When, when I was, they were going to amputate my leg, I was going to die. My mother wouldn't let them. She prayed. The doctor gave her 12 hours. I had 10 throat surgeries in 10 years, Holy 18 to cow. 28. Can't talk for seven weeks at a time. So I've had miracles. I've had some hard things happen. And now I go there and I'm transparent with them. They know I'm not just talking. I've been through. I've had 27 surgeries. <laughs> I went from a world-class athlete to a cripple for five years. Mm. And uh, like I say, I should have died, man, seven times. I had prostate cancer, and I wouldn't yeah. let them do what they wanted to do. The operation? God healed. No, I wouldn't have. Let them take it out. I wouldn't yeah. go, no chemo, no radio. No, 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 no. Well, the side effects are tremendous uh, so, with that operation. And yeah. so, you know, even even on a set uh, this past year, you know, I had star, two starring roles, three co-starring, led two of the directors to the Lord, and, and it, encouraging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it people are broken, and they they need uh, just to get a lift. It, it just they need they need a good word. They need a word of encouragement. Yeah, you know, people would be surprised. Yeah. Uh, what you a know, word of encouragement! It's like, dear God, for the grace of God, be where you stand, lest you fall. Mm -hmm. People got to stop putting these people down and throwing rocks at them and this and that. These are human beings who bleed like you and me. Who, whose heart's exactly. been shattered and rejected, abandoned, and betrayed. And, uh, you know, in the movies, I play real bad people, villains. I've yeah. died 19 times. I, I've, I've checked your, yeah. your filmography. Well, with that, God bless you with your ministry, and uh, may he be with you throughout. Oh, yeah. Till the I'll end. just continue to do both. And what we're going to continue to do is do commercials on this. We'll break it. Then we're going to come back and we'll, get, uh, we'll try to go back and uh, go to the beginning.
Oh, wow. Black Bell what, Jones. What, what turned this athlete into a... Film star. Film star. <laughs> I'm going to play more of Frank's music. That's what I'm going to do. Frank owns wet as we break for commercial. So we'll be back with more. KCLAFMBack.com. We'll be back with Mel Novak. There you go. You like? I think he, I think you like this. There you go. Haunted by your lovely face again. Will this torture never end? I'm so in love with her, why can't you see All the things you're returning LendingTree.com is turning the tables on the loan process. Now, rather than going from bank to bank in search of the best deal, you can have over 100 banks and lenders actually competing for your business. You fill out one simple form, then within hours, you'll receive up to four great offers. It's easy, it's free, and let's face it, it's better. LendingTree.com. When banks compete, you win. Equal housing opportunity. For additional information and state license disclosures, please visit our website located at www.LendingTree.com. Another great place to use Visa. They giggle and jiggle, they jump and they sing, they poke and they play with most wondrous things. And that's just the parents. At Creative Kid Stuff in Minneapolis, you'll find the most enchanting toys and games for kids of all ages. But if you want to bring home their innovative playthings, you better bring your Visa card. Because at Creative Kid Stuff, you can let your child's imagination run wild, but you can't use American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. You ready? ready? Webradio.com, your internet radio destination for the new millennium. Live anytime, on any day, from anywhere. It's webradio.com. Nothing can compare to what's happening across the network. So come listen to this station live at webradio.com with music, news, sports, whatever your taste is. It's there. there. Web Radio also has some cool giveaways all the time. Be sure to check it out. Webradio.com. Webradio.com. We're back. Let's see, what number is that? Uh, yeah, that's from LA Mambo. Mambo Mambo Tango. That's number six. On his uh, LA Mambo, Frank Unzueta. I like that. You know, the first time I heard this, the guys, the first, the guys, the first time I heard this, I couldn't believe it. Uh, Mel, I just couldn't believe the sound. And he's local. He's from San Pedro. Oh yeah, there. good. Man, is it? Do you, do you dance to this kind of music? Oh, yeah. Is that is that in your wizard? Dance is good. Karate dance. All you all you karate. You're all karate guys, no, and no. everybody dances, man. I'm envious because I don't know karate and I don't know dancing. I was deprived. My father. See my father, man. He's a great dancer. Okay, we're going. Uh, we're going to the bottom of the hour. We're ready to start the proper interview. Yeah, where am I? Okay, yeah, here we go. 
All right, Frank. I'm sorry, Frank. Okay, Richard. We're ready to start. One, one, one last, uh, well, a couple of things that I need to mention. Sorry, Frank. Um, our last show for this season one will be May 25th. So anyone out there who I have invited to come on the show, you have about, I don't know, about 10 weeks left, something like that, to confirm that you want to come on. And out of those 10 weeks, already uh, three or four are already filled. So maybe you're down to six. So, May 25th, and then we'll, we will return in August. Second thing, Mel, was that <laughs> those street performers, there's this guy down there. I don't know if you've ever seen him. He's called name, his name is Mr. Muscle. No. And maybe at one time, he runs around in his gym shirt, and he, oh. he's an African-American guy. And maybe at one time, he was Mr. Muscle. But, uh, nah, he's Mr. Never, Mr. Heavyweight. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no way. He, but he still runs around with a shirt, Mr. Muscle. Mr. Muscle, you need to go to Gold's Gym or something like that, cause uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not cut it. You gotta look, 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 look at this guy, look, Mel. He's been around for so long, Mel Novak, and look at the way he's cut, the way he dresses, man. Now I, don't, now I like this guy's tailor. Not too many tailors. Custom. I can tell. It's yeah. That's what you guys should be dressing. Look at that. I'm old okay. school. I got two tone shoes. I'm two tone shoes? Yeah. Uh, no, black and white, blue fellas. and white, gray and white. This is. I'm going to cool. like James Bond. Bond. <laughs> you need money Bond. for that. Like you, 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 need, that. you need money for that. James Bond. Bond. Okay, Bond. look. Okay. You now, now your real name is Milan. Mergenovic. Mergenovic. <laughs> I'm Serbian. Serbian? I was yeah. going to say Serbian. Actually, the movie I'm going to do uh, in uh, Florida. I'm playing uh, uh, probably the worst kind of hit hit man assassin ever. I'm gonna have a scar all the way down here. Oh, oh got it. And uh, white way. eye, so I have a blue eye and a white eye. But uh -oh. he's gonna be uh, he's gonna have me speak some in Serbian. Uh huh. But I have to get a, an accent. I got to work on that. Did you you weren't raised speaking uh, Serbian? Yeah. Look at my scar. Yeah. Look at my scar. Two hundred seventy stitches from a beer bottle. Nah, I thought it was a barbecue sauce bottle. <laughs> 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 the bottle. Wow. <laughs> okay, no, no, but you and, and uh, Augie, do you know that Serbian women are like very beautiful? Bar. Absolutely, yeah. yes. They are very good looking girls. What'd you say, Augie? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, would you, know? you never dated one. Come on, they're oh, tall. Come on, thin. No, Richard, Richard, Richard. Okay, we got we got to get going, man. We got 20 minutes left on this on this interview. All right, now back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. What got you? Okay, we, we, we know that you were injured. You had to, for five years, you were yeah, out of baseball. I, How did you get into acting? Well, I came out to California and uh, I was working in an insurance company, and this gal said, hey, You look great in clothes. My cousin's a modeling agent. Would you like to meet her? There you go. So I started modeling, and then uh, they sent me to an acting school, and that's that's how it really started. But the first big role I had was Black Belt Jones, a martial arts movie. Yeah, now who Jim was that? Jim Kelly. Jim Kelly. I, I love Jim Kelly. Yeah, he, he passed away uh, this past year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and Robert Klaus was the director. Uh huh. And when I went to read for the part, I brought a, one of my gangster suits, I had a gangster hat. <laughs> and the last line was, Look at him, he's sweating just like a pig. So I said, Look at him. And I grabbed him by his. his his shirt he's sweating just like a pig and I spit on him uh -oh. he, he went like this I thought I blew it <laughs> <laughs> so all the way all the way home I'm thinking what is the matter with you so when I got home the phone rang and it was Oscar Williams he was the writer and the, the casting he he was laughing he's man he loves you you got to part then the first day of shooting I handled all my stuff flawlessly but the guy was with me uh, he was my crime partner he couldn't handle the dialogue so the next day uh, so one of the assistant directors says Mel Novak yo uh, the producer director want to see you I said, for what I don't know so I went in there I said did I do something wrong no you did everything right he can't handle his dialogue we want to know if he can give you his dialogue I said give me all the dialogue you want mm. and I didn't when I did the, all the fight with uh, with, with Jim, Jim Kelly Jim Kelly yeah it was so real that he Klaus left it in slow motion. You had the karate guys, you had the stunt guys. He's the one who took me to Hong Kong to do the Bruce Lee movie. Mm -hmm. And when I did that fight 
in the Bruce Lee movie was eight at night to late in the morning in the rain and the cinematographer from from England told me that when he went uh, after they saw the dailies the, the Robert Klaus said uh, I'm so glad I brought Mel he gave me more than I even wanted and hoped for in yeah, that character that's what directors will know, do. my character was stick yeah so mm -hmm. I had stick. a matchstick but what I did was I changed the color to match my suits Klaus loved it. <laughs> and I'm the one, the, you know, it, it wasn't written in the script that he had a matchstick. Uh -huh. so it was my idea. Now, now did you, did, do you, uh, do, were you into martial arts at the time? Were you yeah, practicing? I, uh, I had you Pat Johnson, who, d who did a lot of movies, uh, Sonny Barnes. I, I was like a mongrel. I learned from, from uh, so many of them. But I hung out with stunt people. Mm-hmm. And that's where I learned all that stuff. And I'm, I was one of the few actors, and I've done a lot, a lot of movies with tons of dialogue, but I did my own stunts f and fights, which the directors loved because they didn't have to call cut and then do editing yeah. and everything. Yeah. So it worked out really well. And uh, But Klaus, I did, I worked with uh, Yul Brenner, his last, uh, The Ultimate Warrior. And uh, mm -hmm. I did the second toughest stunt in the whole movie. They made me an honorary stuntman. And yeah, when uh, I read your bio, I didn't know. Is this guy an actor? Is he a stuntman? Because he sure is. No, like I was. He I does a lot of stunts. Movies. You know, the movies I just did. Uh, I do all my own stunts. Too. Syndicate <laughs> Smasher. I had tons of dialogue. And mm -hmm. uh, so. Yeah, if you guys. What? Just stunts at Windsor Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. Here's a connection. Here's a connection. That I, there are two connections I want to make with you, Mel. Syndicate Smasher. I, I don't know if uh, anyone uh, is familiar with the name of that film. It's in post-production right now. Al Marchesi was in that film. Yeah, Al, my buddy. Al. Yeah, he was on the show. Now, you I killed around, him. Right? You killed He came he around a corner that? with his gun, and I grabbed a gun like this here, <laughs> and then... And then I, I popped him in the head and knocked him over and I pulled the gun out. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, man, I got to see this film. I'm glad you mentioned that. Oh, Al, I, sorry, I killed, Beto. Yeah, I took care of Al. <laughs> Real good. Well, we had him on the you second. You him for me, too. He was, he was on the second God. show. He was on our second. Were you here, Augie? You hadn't come back? No, I don't yeah, think so, no. good guy. I, I, would, I would remember We him. just saw him at the barbecue uh, uh, over there at the W. His barbecue. barbecue. Yeah, the barbecue uh, get-together oh, over there at the W. And um, so... Uh, yeah, Al Marchez, sh shout out, a friend of yours. So when I saw this, I said, oh, I got to mention this. I can't this. hear you and him at the yeah, same time. I, yeah, what a time, Rich. And so I said, oh, I got I to gotta bring Al up to Mel. Yeah. Al and Mel, to let him know that. Yeah, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm the one, one that killed so him. I said that, and, and, you know, when, they, when, when and Freddie told me that he was able to get you to come on. That, you yeah, know, he I, always uh, calls me late. I, 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 I downloaded oh, everything. That's Freddie. I read the bio. I looked at your uh, your pic. There's some pictures of you and Bruce Lee. That picture yeah. of you two fighting. That's up there. You with Steve McQueen. Now listen to this, Augie. You're, you're, you're getting on in years. You probably know these actors. Look, this this gentleman, and he is a gentleman in dress and appearance. He's performed with Jim Kelly. Look at that. We've already mentioned that. Yul Brenner, Max von Sydow. Yeah, he's the Exorcist and uh, um, Woody Allen film I saw him in. Uh, Steve McQueen. You, you know Steve McQueen, Bullet and all that. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Christopher Lee. Not. I love all these guys. I love them all. They're all, all some of my favorite actors. And uh, this is why I'm when when I read about you, about you coming on, I was so happy. I was so elated. Because a lot of those uh, uh, films I enjoyed growing up. And the thing is, guys, when you... you you get some of these actors who have been around for a while. You get all these stories. I love these old stories. Uh, you know, I, these men with with experience and maturity. So, uh, my thumbs up to you, Mel, as we tread on. All right, now. Um, so, actually, you started off. Oh, look, look at this. John Carradine as well. Yeah. He passed on that. Oh, so Boy, he yeah. had. Yeah. He had arthritis. It was so oh, bad. Oh yeah, you know he was doing that film uh, on the Queen Mary about that ship back in the '70s, and I, I of course was, you know was there, and I was there in Queen on the Queen Mary during that production. I was hanging out, and I went down the elevator with him, uh, with John Carradine, 
and you can tell his hands that he, he yeah. had very terrible arthritis. They were all brutal. My mother's yeah. dying from arthritis. Yeah. David, you know I'm getting my pass. Richard, Richard, you're interrupting. No. Da- oh. David, uh, I work with him too, Carradine. Yeah. Yeah. His his, Good his guy. son. Yeah, I work with and, and you work with uh, Gary Marshall, director. Yeah, Gary. T- two movies. He's uh, boy, I tell you, he's had some great hits. What 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 what's ever happened to his sister Penny? Now she was directing for a while and then yeah. she stopped directing. Yeah, uh, she what hasn't done anything that? for a while. I remember being up her house for a reading for the film that they were going to do. They had a lot of actors there. She had you know those uh, antique uh, mirror, uh, not uh, like different colors of. Uh, I'm trying to think. Artifacts. Yes. Uh, well, they they were uh, lamps, different oh, kind of lamps. Okay. She must have had what psychedelic ones? Two hundred of them, the real expensive ones. The the psychedelic ones? Or? No, it's just different colors. They're handmade and everything. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah right. was, she collected them. Oh well, but but, but uh, you haven't heard anything in, in the no. way of her coming haven't back. No, haven't heard anything from from her in ages. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh, there's huh. some there's some up and coming directors like Tom Churchill. This guy's going to be like Hitchcock. You watch. I, I, I work for him in, in Checkpoint. It's going to be released Memorial Day all over the country. Okay. And, and, uh, I, I want to get into your filmography. And, uh, and I, can't, I can't believe all these films that you have done. I mean, and, and it goes back even unto uh, TV shows. You did Beretta. Yeah. <laughs> he was... He was uh Wow. That's Beretta's uh what's his name, Blake? Yeah. 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 Robert Blake. We you know Mannix was uh Mannix, yeah, yeah, I had Mannix. I was I, I was a really good role I had. They had yeah. these four named actors, Elsa Ch- Lanchester and and uh, Abe Vigoda. But they oh, remember Abe, me because I yeah. shot some guy in the back with a with a, li- with a silencer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, as uh, filmmaking today, as opposed to back then when you were doing the TV series and everything else, has it changed much to you? Oh, yeah. Or is it a little bit better? Got the green screen. Yeah. You know, you're, you're acting, and you, you, in your mind you're visualizing, but you don't see nothing. That's but, true. Oh, yeah, just... Uh, so do you, what do you think is a lot easier for the actors today, or is it a little bit harder? Or the same. Not for me. It was. A, it was. It's good for me. Mm-hmm. I don't have a problem because I. Uh, I'm good at taking direction, and they know I never drank or did drugs, so I'm always on time. I know my lines, and they can. That's what they like. I, there's. I'm not going to say a name, but there's one guy. <laughs> he came on. He was coked out, and Uh-oh. the producer got really, really mad. And the next day he didn't come in. He says, "You come down here. I'm going to." I'm gonna sue you and see that that drug stuff is just real bad and you see a lot of it. My goodness. Yeah, because time, is, it, folks, you have to understand. You young actor, the time is money, you know. And then you you have to spend time. If you release an actor, you have to go find a replacement. Yeah. Or if he's on the set, you got to take, do retake, retake, and it, it's a pain in the behind. There are movies that I've done. They call me one take Novak. <laughs> you got to focus. Yeah. I'm selling, I'm selling Richard, Richard, not now. Not now. I'm going to take that phone. I'm going to stomp it on my foot. <laughs> Good man, the guy's in the middle of a sentence. Go ahead. <laughs> Gosh. Just you, man. But, it, you know, it's a key to... So I watch some of these actors, and, and they get real nervous and anxious. I said, look, it's not life and death. You should be blessed that you're even here. Amen so to that, focus. man. Focus. you got to focus. Getting some money. And it w- you know, it's like three things. What do you want? Why do you want? How are you going to get it? It's all you got to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's, to me, it's this is this is a great time to be an actor. And uh, Yeah. And, I, and I, I, like all businesses, I tell all these young actors, I said, look, uh, if, if you do, you give the director what he wants, and you're on time, a hundred try for 100% of the time, uh, they're going to use you again. That's right. And they're going to use you again and four again. Times, four, four major four movies. Four times already. Yeah. And uh, the 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 thing is, you see all these directors that have kind of an ensemble that they use all the time. Yeah. Um, uh, Clint Eastwood, 
did that. Yeah, he used, used all his friends. Yeah, he used all his friends. Martin Scorsese, uh, uh, Joe Pesci, he uses all the time. Uh, same thing uh, with Spielberg, and that's because these 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 actors and these actresses are reliable. That's right; they could trust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. time is money. It's like uh, Gregory Hatanaka. He he wanted to work with me for like ten years because he saw the game of death probably thirty times, <laughs> and I, I worked for him in uh, Samurai Cop: Deadly Vengeance. So. He told me, and then when he found out that I'd, I'd do the ministry in Skid Row Prison, whatever I do, you're going to have a starring role. So, uh, Blood uh, Fury, uh, he got uh, Darlin' Nikki, he got these all set up, and I got big roles in there. Okay, so what are you currently working on? Well, what the next what's going on? the next two is with him is back to back. He's going to do these two pictures back to back, same crew. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Blood Fury and. Uh, God forgives you, but I don't. And then after that is Darlin' Nikki. Then I go in June. I go to Florida. Mm -hmm. Are any of these sequels like back? Like you said, they're back to back. No, they the just sequel. They they're going to do a sequel on uh, on Samurai Cop. And, I, and he says I have a starring role for. Him. I said, how you can do that? I got killed. He says we're going to open up with you with the same outfit, and you stand up. You're taking a bullet out of bulletproof vest, and you're really ticked off. <laughs> I said that'll work for me. Yeah, that that that'll but, uh, work. That'll work for me as well. Then why does that sound familiar? Samurai Cop. It was all over the all over the country and yeah, I, all over I the that. Greece, England. Yeah, yeah. Now and do you do you have a big following overseas, like Europe yeah. and Asia? Because I know some yeah. of these films are yeah, especially these. Asia. Yeah, uh, and in you know, France, Germany, because I did a lot of those those films that were big hits over there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, they 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 love uh, American action films. And then I do a uh, Omega Man internet show. It's on spiritual warfare. Uh -huh. I got followers from Taipei, uh, Australia, New Zealand, UK, Switzerland. It's amazing. When you when you said Omega Man, I thought you meant the film with Charlton Heston. Oh, no, 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 no. That's one of my no. favorites. Were you in that too? No, I wasn't in that one. <laughs> but uh, you know, the thing is the. Uh, there's 167 countries that that are listening to that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, that's really that's the upside to the internet. Now you have some films here that are uh, completed and on their way. Um, uh, are they? They're still. It says here they're still filming Hardway Heroes. Or no, that's no. done. No, that's they're, done. they're that's they're got to edit that. I got a great role and I play a hitman named. Uh, or a gangster named Superfly. I say, I say that. Superfly. Yeah, that, was Superfly. that was a movie name. But that was my <laughs> gangster name. I had yeah, a, a real check, pretty girl there. A checkpoint. That, that's already in that's Malaysia. That's coming out Memorial Day all over the country. Okay. AMC yeah, Theaters. I'm AMC Theaters. Yeah. We have that down in the LBC. I'll be there as well. Now, uh, <laughs> here's one that caught my eye. Cuatro Stinkos. What the heck? Quattro Stinkos, it says here. That's the name of it. Pre-production. Oh, pre-production. This is pre-production. Giovanni. Yeah, that that hasn't. We haven't done that yet. There, there, Do you know there's what that's a whole about? bunch of people that want me to work in their film, and my manager Joe Williamson said, "You know, got to have names with you, and uh, got to be starring role. And w what's the script about? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not going to just do something where it's going to affect." Me or my my family. No, I understand. You know, that. No, I, I I love playing hitmen, psychos, assassins. Mm -hmm. I killed thirty people mm -hmm. in uh, in the Syndicate Smasher. <laughs> that, I'm waiting Most to see that. Like uh, now, do you know? Did they say anything about where they're going to premiere it at? Uh, uh, it'll probably be premiered at that uh, AMC Theater. On uh, that's where we did we premiered at uh, uh, Samurai Cop, and it was packed. I mean, well, literally, literally. Well, you know, I, I've, I've got a suit similar to yours. I don't have the vest, but it's it's, it's suitable for premiere. So I hope you'll remember me. And I wore my tux. Not so much in your prayers, but in your in your premiere. I, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll enjoy it. <laughs> I have to check that out now. Um, oh, before we go, uh, I, I want I want to get this in. Uh, how do people contact you? I have a, a website: www.mel. N like North, O V like Victory, A K dot com. Okay. And uh, you know my my uh, 
email is nails, N A I L S 007, <laughs> at netzero.net. Okay. And uh, so you could find out a lot about me in, in my on my website, and uh, somebody wants to contact me. Okay, now, now are, you, are you doing a show, a ministerial show on internet, or do you just have followers that are following you? Oh, an Omega on Man. It's, uh, we do it on, on audio Skype, but it goes all 167 countries. Okay. Now yeah, uh, I do two a month. So how do they get, they'll get, go on Skype, and how will oh, they look you up? I get a big following on Facebook, and uh, they, you know, they, I get donations from people that I have well. never even met. From Taipei and just take them. Well, they, there was a lady, lady in Australia in. ready to commit suicide, and she just turned that radio on. And I was with Shannon Ray Davis, the Omega Man, and mm-hmm. I said, "Suicide's not the answer. Jesus is the answer." She there didn't commit suicide, so that yeah. was good. There, there you are. There's, there's ministry in action. Now, folks, just uh, go, go, just very simply, go to Google, just type in Omega Man. Uh, Mel Novak, yeah. and you'll find it. Uh, and on my on the website, they, in, in the uh, archives, they have t- tons of those shows. Really encouraging, edifying, uplifting. Okay. People. Um, on your Facebook, how do they find you on Facebook? Just under your Mel name? Mel Novak. Mel Novak. Now, are you Be related? My are you any way related? No. To yeah, I mean, he's been asked this, I'm sure. No. Tim Novak? No, no, no. Okay. No, my real name, you know, we talk Milan Marjanovic, but... Uh, that's right. You see, can't I be picked. Novak. I picked. Name, her name from him. I picked Novak because there were no male actors. Novak. There was Kim. Oh. Yeah, there people Kim. familiar with mm-hmm. her, and it's easy to remember. There used to be a TV series called Mr. Novak. Yeah. So it's hard, yeah, hard to right. pick a name, and I wasn't going to go with Mergenovic because you got M R D J E N O V I C H. They crucify it. <laughs> so I got a nice short name, Mel Novak, and that's how people know me. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of actors, uh, even Woody Allen and all those guys, they, they, that's not their real name. Yeah, uh, they, they made it. They simplified it. So if you come in the industry with really some kind of last mine. name, yeah, I like that. I, I like uh, it. it's great for the titles. You know, you come into this industry and you have some kind of long name, uh, Jackalolo, whatever. No, you got to yeah, that. just it's yeah. difficult. Bill Jack. You want them to remember you. Yeah, of course. That's the key. Mm. Um, so uh, we uh, this a few went minutes fast. Class. Yeah, I'm telling you, everybody comes in here, and the thing is, all right, there is one thing I, I will confess right now, Mel. By the time we're done with the interview and we do a couple of video promos for the show, sure. a lot of the actors and the women they're very weary eyed, they're tired because uh, they, you know when they're doing interviews, they only do 10, 15 minutes nah, on do. on the late I've show done and all two that. Hours. And oh my gosh, that's a, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that. But they look kind of a bit tired, um, a bit wasted uh, from the interview. But this, I'm telling you, folks, Mel uh, looks I, fresh. Yeah, uh, fresh. I was all day out. That's what you want to look at? No, I, I went to a funeral. Then after uh-huh. that, uh, at Cheesecake Factory, and hey. and I had uh, <laughs> Keith Barrows from producer from London. Uh, I'm meeting with him tomorrow, and I saw him again. Uh-huh. For a movie called uh, Squeeze. Squeeze. I play hitman, hitman, hitman named Mr. K- Mr. Q. Mr. I get I got killed got, in I that one. Like a cue ball or I just to give a cue? No, we, and I'm sorry. We, no, we're about Please. ready. You'll run over. I'm sorry you'll run over. Run over. What, I got one last question for him and that's it. One last question. Of yeah. all the actors you worked with, who was the one that impressed you the most? I love Steve McQueen. Ah, don't we all? Uh, yeah. You know, he I he liked me because he he spent some time as a juvenile and he knew that I that I, I went into prisons uh-huh. to minister. And uh and I love Bill Brenner too. He was uh, yeah, great he was to good, work with actor. Max von Sydow. I mean I work with some really, really great people. And uh, lucky. in a martial arts field, there's never, ever going to be another Bruce Lee. There's zillion no. wannabes and, and, uh, and t- tribes. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Steve. La- last, last connection I forgot to mention. Uh, uh, the guy uh, uh, from Friday the 13th, the guy who played, uh, not Friday, Friday the 13th, Freddy uh, Cougar. Freddy Cougar. 
Uh, what's that guy's name? The guy that played uh, Freddy Krueger. Not yeah, Freddy Krueger. The other he's, one. The, the he's other English one. actor. No, no, no. Yeah, no, he's no. nice guy. Uh, I uh, worked on that movie. Ah, what is it? I know we're running over. I know we're running over. Man, you but, over. I but, say but my brother Wait, was right. my brother was in that film. Oh, really? He he's he's a stunt man. And I was wondering, what's if his name? Your brother, G- Gary Roberts. Gary Roberts. I, I know and, that name. He probably knows me. And I wonder if you uh, had met him while doing that film. Oh man, what? I was on which one were you talking about? I was on. Fun. No, 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 no. I, I think I think I. I don't cut me off here. Don't cut me up. <laughs> Can I say something? Uh, you, you remember the Goodfellas? Yeah. Uh huh. There's a, there's a, a one called Bad Fellows. It's, <laughs> it's a black brother who's directing, and it's like the black mafia. Uh huh. And they had me uh, play the end I part, can, I... and I wouldn't go back to Cincinnati. They sent people here to film me, but I, I got I'm signed for the sequel on that. But. Uh, Okay. Nah. Can I say yeah. something while you're doing nah, it? we're running nowhere. Please. They're gonna cut us off anyway. Let me ah. say something. Thank you for coming in. Hey, my pleasure. Thank <laughs> anytime you want me. YouTube. I, I come for you. He said, "Let me say something." It's a, it's a, it's a big uh, guy with a hockey mask. Sir. Oh, is that the one with Halloween. a lantern face? Yeah, Halloween. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that actor. The He's one that just guy. died. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, him. Yeah. Um. Yeah, my brother doubled for him. Oh really? Can yeah. I say something before you show nah, you? Nah, I'm sorry. We are way over. We Please. are way you over. Adios. Next next week we'll have uh, our, our filmmaker friend. <laughs> Giovanna, Giovanna will be in. I was six. Well, you didn't write that name in. Adios. In 1970. <laughs> <laughs> All right.